Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a heart rate to web tutorial because um, the tutorials out there don't necessarily give you all the tips and tricks you need to set this up. So right now uh, I'm going to be using a program that sends data from your Samsung watch to uh, the computer to do heart rate monitor. So I was thinking about doing this because everyone's doing a scary game for Halloween. So I wanted to try and do, you know, the heart rate monitor thing, see if, you know, we can, we can, we can do it. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing is, um, you got to download the stuff. So you want to go to heart rate to web and then Google search that. You'll come up with uh, this GitHub link right here. You want to click on it. That's good. Uh, next is you want to click on the little plus here on releases. You want to go to the first version. So you want to download this by clicking on it and by clicking on the OBS slash HTML files zip. All right. So once those are downloaded, uh, you're just gonna got to install the software on your uh, Galaxy smartwatch. So go to Galaxy Store um, and search for heart rate to web for streamers. Now I know I can't show you this because I don't have a watch emulator on here, but remember the author is uh, Low Ick. Uh, Colate. Uh, find this one in the Galaxy Store. It should be for, free for everyone. Um, so, yeah, you want to install that. When you go onto your watch, um, it'll pop up with, "Hey, uh, this is you're going to be sending stuff to your computers, your streaming setup," uh, and just hit continue. And then the next thing is it's going to ask you for. A web IP. That's what we're getting into right now with the software part. Go to uh, back to your computer. Click on heartbeat receiver. It's going to pop up. It's going to add. It's going to show your IP. Oh, 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 oh. If I can slow this down for a second. There you go. Your IP is right up there. And your port number is there. So for me, it's 10.0.0.161. And my port number for this would be 6547. So what you want to do is type well, into your watch. Uh, when it asks you for an IP address, is you want to put HTTP colon, which is the two dots. One under, uh, one on top, one on bottom, and then you're gonna type in ten dot zero dot zero, well, whatever, whatever it says right there uh, for your IP, and then you're gonna put another colon, which are two dots, uh, one on top, one on bottom, and you're gonna type in your port number, which would be for me it's six five four seven. And then you're going to end it with a backslash. Once that's done, um, basically you're going to get what I have here, what's going on. And that's just at uh, receiving information. Now, um, the thing I should warn you guys about is you need to do two things. One, what they don't, what they don't tell you is you need to enable your Wi-Fi on your on your watch so you need to have your Wi-Fi enabled on your watch uh, the next thing they don't tell you on these tutorials is you have to make sure that your galaxy phone is actually writing zero now it took me forever to figure out why this wasn't working on my phone or on my watch and that was because it was recording the letter O instead of the number zero. That's the problem I was having. It, Samsung's weird. I eventually f like 
figured out how to put it in normal chat mode instead of that stupid writing draw on your finger, you know, the letter number. So manually try and do it that way. Uh, not with the touch touch thing, but with an actual like keyboard layout that they have. Uh, and so that's one of the problems I was having. Oh, I forgot to say, one of the things that they put on is a delay setting. So you can manually choose how long the watch reports back to you. Now, the more times it reports back, the more power it's going to use and the less time you have on your watch. That's fine because, you know, usually streams don't last like six hours or something. Um, the watch is actually pretty efficient. So once you got the app all done on your watch, now if you watched uh, the background at all, you'll see this file pops up. This text file, HR. So when we run this thing, it uh, makes this text file and it keeps updating it every single time this updates. So, like, if I click on this now, it should be 66. It is. Let's see if... Okay, now it just changed to 65. 64. Yeah, it just changed to 64. So, this is what we're going to use in our OBS studios. Now, let me bring that down. Cool. So, next is going to... We're going to add the, the text file to our stream. So we're going to hit the plus sign. We're going to hit text. We're going to add a new one. We're going to call it heart rate monitor. We're going to hit OK. Now, uh, we're going to scroll down where it says read from file actually it's the first it's the first box right here you're gonna click that you're gonna click browse we're gonna go to where everything is downloads and now that you see that little uh, you're gonna click on the HR file we have and we're gonna hit OK and as you can see it's changing based on my heart rate so yeah, let's oh I'm actually gonna change the font you can change the font mm. I was thinking since I'm gonna be I was thinking of doing like uh, I was thinking of doing aliens uh, an aliens game because again it's Halloween and I also want to make it you can also select the color Ooh, no, that's too bright. Uh, there we go. Select color that one. Nope. That's fine, actually. You know what? And you can place it wherever. I'm going to place it down in the corner. So it's not too distracting. And there you go. There's, there's your heart rate. Anyways. Ooh, there we go. There's my heart rate kicking in. So anyways... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So, anyways, have a nice, wonderful afternoon, evening, night, guys. And I will see you guys next time.